Sunday. Somewhat restful week. It's the restful brainstorming weekend. I said I was gonna do a bunch of art. I didn't. Yesterday I was cooked. I went on a bike ride and my entire body said, fuck you, right? You know how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was supposed to tattoo Alex and I was just talking shit. But today, Sunday, preparing for the next week. Uh, I went to the grocery store and this is my grocery haul. Cause quite a few people have been hitting me up about what I'm eating and my training. This is like my new standard grocery haul here. Eat lavash bread, like it's going out of style. White bread, chicken stock to now make my rice with chicken stock and not water. Cause it adds some protein. Eggs, fat free cheese. We have regular cheese too, but steak, pickles, chicken, guacamole, more steak, fat free, this stuff, fat free cream cheese, cottage cheese, and uh, yogurt. This all just kind of goes in recipes. I don't just eat the egg whites, whipped cream on the motherfucking French toast. This isn't like, oh God, this is all I can eat. Ugh. This is like the regular staples and then anything else I want to make. I want pizza? I make pizza. I want to go out for pizza. I go out for pizza. I just make sure I work it into my daily budget. That's all it's about. It's just like anything else. Your little daily budget. You want a donut? Have yourself a donut. Later, you might be having less of something else. Budget. Good morning, boys. That was not for you either. Oh my. This one's for you. 4.30 a.m. because that is not correct. It is a good morning. Super cool. Ah, we have everything we need. Finally, we have our water. We have our fucking breakfast, protein shake, pre-workout shake. There's no pre-workout like molecules in this. I don't do pre-workout. I just don't drink Monster, so I mean, maybe it is a pre-workout. We're headed to the gym. It is a lower body day. Last night, ooh, forgot my almond milk at the grocery store, so I had to go to a different grocery store. And that grocery store just happened to be pretty close, not really, to the casino. So I went by the casino. I was just really feeling pretty lucky. I put in 83 bucks and I took out 350 bucks. You know, it's all about numbers. The big question these days, the question I got the most this last weekend was, uh, how much do you weigh now? How much do you want to weigh? Numbers are endless. Bob Marley said it. The number doesn't matter. The number is not what I'm looking for. There's never going to be a number that comes across a scale that is going to do it. You know, like it's not going to ever, 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 if the number comes across a scale and it says uh, 160, it will never happen. My, my skeleton weighs more than that. But 160, you know, and I don't feel good or look good to myself, then what the fuck does it matter? Same thing with social media, likes and followers and all this shit. You're never gonna be satisfied. Once you get 10,000 followers, you're gonna want 20. Then you're gonna want 30. Once one photo gets 10,000 likes, Oh, every photo needs to have 10,000 likes. These, these things are not true. And it all reflects you, like how do you feel? So, you know, if you get 10,000 likes and you feel like shit, trust me, the 10,000 likes don't matter. I'm only weighing myself as a measurement tool uh, to see what goes up and down. I don't personally or uh, emotionally give a fuck about what the number says, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's actually going on inside of my body. Very well be building muscle, uh, and burning fat pretty much at the same time. There's a lot of bodybuilding faux pas out there about how you can't do the same, but you can recomp. And for those of you who want to know, I'm at 286, 288, which means that in Colorado, I had pushed over 300 pounds, like easily 325, maybe even more, you know, since before the bike. I don't know. I didn't weigh myself. That number could literally stay the same. It could stay 288 for this entire fucking period. You get shredded at 288, then I'll be a beast. It's fun in this regard because you get to uh, not care so much. It's just like eating the calories and lifting the weight. And I got plenty of energy in the gym. I mean, it's 5.30. I'm raring to go. I've had two sips of Monster. You know, yeah, this number shit. I can't chase numbers. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it. I can't chase them. Get in here, lift, lift head. Well, I guess numbers matter there. I gotta count the numbers, I gotta put the weights on, but you know what I'm saying. Controlled movements, you know what I mean? Good form, time under tension. That's how we're rolling. All right, we're almost at the gym and I haven't had my shake. That was my explanation for what's going down. We're done with the legs, the legsima. It's actually pretty good. Everything feels great. 
hungry, I'm ready to go home and eat, and get started on some paintings. I tell you, man, this election, it was, COVID has slowed everything down considerably, and this election is just like, even worse. I don't know how that's possible, really. I guess it's everybody's just distracted, but then you have holidays where everybody's always distracted, so I feel like to get through 2020, the next few months are a little crazy for business, I feel like, because no way everybody's like moving at a low capacity. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Keep on Halloween, just like, damn, tomorrow's the first, tomorrow's the first, and now, now when today's the second, you know what I mean? I'm like, holy shit. I know, like, it's almost there. I know. It's almost I'm there. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm leaving the motherfucking gymnasium, going to my home -nasium. I talked to Jay for quite a while. He comes home in four weeks. I have some work to do as far as uh, getting in touch with the state today. Like, how do you know? See, it'll spill out if you hold it. Whew, seems pretty bubbly. Oh yeah, that's bubbly. Yeah, I think it was cool. It was on sale, so I bought one. And uh, some people are like, Teddy, Teddy, what about liquid death? Well, I obviously still fuck with liquid death, but we can't only drink fucking canned water, dog. I like canned water. I love their water. They hook it up. And actually, I have a big cutout here from them. I need to open. I can't just you know, only drink liquid death. I just can't, you know? I don't think they could provide me enough water. I mean, doc, I drink all of these in a week, two weeks tops. Do you know how many cans of fucking liquid death that would be? I basically, this week, I'm starting the paintings uh, for the mystery paintings, and I have a couple of different techniques I'm gonna use, and then I have a drop to work on. The next drop is probably coming at the end of this week. I have the sketches, I just have to finalize the drawings. Tonight we have a podcast at six, so I have to kind of plan my day a little differently just around all that. And getting my tattoo schedule straight. And, you know, all of the busy, non-glamorous stuff that I have to do every day. This is what I asked for, not complaining. I just booked my friend in Japan, got me that tattooed, but I just filled this sketchbook up with <laughs> doodles on the next drop, basically, some of it. The process begins about these mystery paintings that um, I'm gonna do different techniques for them. I'm not gonna keep them all the same because they're gonna be spread out. And I'm probably gonna do some gel pulling. And now 20 days later it says case place for scanning on the 29th. So what was the 29th? That was Thursday. So it, you know, so I would say call it call it a week. Okay. You've been snoozing today, dude. Just snoozing it up. Yeah? You tired? The overall this election talk, huh? No, it's hard to escape. It's Tuesday, November 3rd, election day, 4.57 a.m. You already know where we're going. I honestly cannot remember the last thing I filmed. Probably not much. Yesterday was election day. We're still in the midst of everyone freaking the fuck out about everything. In my experience during these times, not much changes. People just argue with each other. And then we come away with a different point of view on the people around us based on what they think, based on how they got their information slash brainwashing slash whoever, no matter how educated you are. There's some brainwashing involved. They're still counting. It's still the morning. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to eat because I'm going on this bike ride. I'm not even really that hungry. It's super early. All right. We're like, I don't know, probably 10 miles in. The weather is amazing. This is some duck tra duck head trail entrance. I don't know. We don't really, we just kind of ride by it. But it's pretty dope. It's pretty nice out here. Legs are feeling pretty good. Not really struggling yet. This loop is not really crazy. It's 20 miles. Ah, so far, it's, it's pretty nice. We'll see. There's still a lot of uphill to go. I came home from my bike ride. Alex, for some reason, has been craving dumplings for the last, like, fucking week. I think so. it's great leaving the house. Oh. I know it's a place I can talk to go. We're gonna work these dumplings into our daily motherfucking intake. Then we're gonna come back and paint. Dogs, hold it down. I gotta take photos of the exercise bike. We might sell the exercise bike. It's not getting use. We're spoiled bitches. We may just sell it. We'll see. We'll see. Japan snacks, dog. These are so good. These are like the cereal. How many calories are in these? Oh, we're getting some of these. These only have 15 carbs for the whole thing. Yeah. Hockey wall. A rubber band ice cream. Rubber band ice cream. 
Look at this guy. Hey, look, they got the water dumbbells. It could be used for workout. You can't even put your whole hand in that bitch. Oh shit, son, we're out here. You could put like your your alcoholic beverage in here. You could be like 20 reps and then sip. Yeah. Me? I, yes, thank you. I can't really say them. What is it? It's a Thai tea. Man, I like the square. The boba. I like the rectangularness. It's really thinking outside the box. The drink box. We are about to run out of miles on the car, but the gym is really close. So we're off to the gym at 718. I'm going later. Globo gym is a little more, I don't know. It's got just a lot more people. I don't want to say that everybody's douchey because not everybody's douchey, but there's definitely more of a, you know, like Venice Beach vibe from 6 to 7.30. So 7.20 by the time we get there and get settled in. We are max rep testing squat and deadlift today so that we can move forward on our program. Make sure that our weight values are correct so that we can keep the progression going. Four weeks on this, but only two, only second week of not riding the bike first, which means the first two weeks effort might have been a little Oh, buddy, we're back. We're home. I am cooked. Today, Thursday, the only real plan is to eat and work. That's really what we do these days. We eat, sleep, and work. It's not bad life. It's time to cook, dog. It's time to make some food. I've already made most of it. I got rice. And, uh, I got some chicken in here. And a lot of, you know, I'm not on a chicken and rice diet. And some people are like, what is dude? All you're eating, Teddy, is some chicken and rice, man. So another, I, honestly, it goes back to chicken and rice because it's fucking easy. I just don't want to make anything else. If you're eating this much, it's like recipes. I just get annoying. And I'm, I don't have like flavor fatigue either. I literally right now, I'm enjoying making like burritos every day with my lavash bread. So for right now, it's real easy. Pulled out the gel plate. The gel plate jelly the gel plate will hold pretty much what we put on it i mean there's a lot of techniques for this ah, i don't remember what this thing's called it has a name but i don't know it uh boom 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 okay We have a few. I don't know what we're gonna do here. We gotta dry. You want your own cooking? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oof, it's hot, but it's good. It's That's hot to the touch. Large. Hot to the touch, warm to the mouth. Are these those cookies you were, they had on those videos you were watching? Mm-hmm. Like I probably won't be able to eat a whole one. Why not? It's only got like 200 calories in it. It's good. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Greg Doucette. I'm good. Not mad at it. Not mad at it one bit. Can I nope. It's oatmeal. Ah. Uh, Back to work. You. You're welcome. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. How you doing? Hey, I know it's back there. We cooked steak last night, so you think there's drippings. Huh, there's not back in that house. Literally this week is just a shit show. I don't, I mean, I've gotten a lot of work done. Uh, we have a lookbook coming for friends and family, not Monday at the latest. I mean, I think everybody knows with the election stuff. I mean, have we had a president this week, really? You know, when you really think about it, what's the president been doing this week? You think he's still getting all his work done? I'm not getting all my work done. The president definitely isn't getting all his work done. I'm presidential as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. All right, I'm out of here. I've been waiting, I was gonna drop this vlog earlier, but I was waiting to see who the leader of the free world was gonna be because I thought perhaps it would be Kanye. If God willed it, then it had to have come true. So it doesn't look like that happened. God was just like, hey, Kanye, here's five billion, you know, just stop there for now. Ask me again later. But it does look like Joe Biden is gonna win. 
the election. Um, I guess in a way, uh, I think that's probably a better thing because I don't, I don't care. But for maybe the morale of people, <laughs> maybe it just seems fair in my opinion in the most unfair system. The only fair thing in that unfair thing maybe would just to take turns. At least if illusionary political structures and the teams and the red versus blues i think it's pro wrestling you know they're all going to the same dressing room and the trump tweets from here to a turn please twitter do not block ban block this man please we need to see the tweets i need to see i mean there should be area 51 like secrets like trump's not going to give out the secret there's no way there's no way every time they tweet something i'm like yeah well what about that alien what about that you know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about what about this one thing what about that one thing you know he's got all the info now i know, I know some people were checking here and only here to see who won the presidency and I wanted to be a good reporter. Filming in the gym is a little weird, you know? I'm uh, I'm there at work and I'm not really like thinking about other stuff, but I do warm up on a treadmill for just like 10, 15 minutes. And these treadmills in here are incredible. They have so many different kinds. Real life, like, like somebody took a walk in these places and you walk with them and it changes the grade and everything with the actual walk. And it's real places like San Francisco. And then whatever I kind of feel like painting, what I'm gonna paint, and just kind of like keep, like yeah, like, oh, this is not anything yet. But we'll see what happens with them all. But this is the only way to get through this process, is to just keep stacking stuff. Not worrying about the final outcome yet, putting paint to paper. It's been a wild week in America. Definitely a state of confusion. We're all under mass confusion. Try not to argue. You know, it's pointless and worthless. Find something to focus on that at least makes you happy because the rest of this shit's gonna keep going on forever. It's never gonna stop. My advice to you is to unplug from that and uh, plug yourself into some other stuff because it's the only way out. The only way out, dog. It's the only way out. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. I'll see you guys next week. Podcast Monday. Lookbook by Monday.